Cindy Wiley. Today I'm going to talk about motivation. What motivates you? What motivates you to get out of bed in the morning and take a shower? What motivates you to go to work? What motivates you to exercise? <laughs> to clean your house? To go out with a friend? Let's talk about motivation, shall we? I'll give you a secret about motivation. What motivates me, I'm just talking from a personal experience, because I'm not an expert on any of these topics that I talk about. I can only come here on my channel and tell you about my thoughts and feelings and my personal experience. I'm no expert on these topics. So, What motivates me to do something I don't like? Now, I certainly don't need anything to motivate me into doing something that I like, right? Do you need to be motivated into eating a bowl of ice cream or a slice of chocolate cake or a pizza? Answers are probably not. <laughs> but what about losing weight? Or going to a job you don't like? What about being motivated to do things that we don't like to do? The answer to me is reward. Reward always, most likely, in most cases, I said always, but okay, <laughs> nothing is always. Um, in most cases, motivate, reward. So, wh what do I mean by reward? Okay. Rewarding myself. For instance, I'll give you an example. After I had my first son, Alex, when I was nine months pregnant with him, I went all the way up to 200 pounds. Now, after I gave birth to him in a few weeks, of course, I, he was nine and a half pounds, okay, almost 10 pounds. And then, you know, the afterbirth and everything, and the fluid filled up. I got down to about like 175 pounds. But then I wanted to vote, motivate myself I was 175 pounds before I got pregnant. I wanted to motivate, motivate myself to get back to my ideal weight, which is 115. And I was 175 pounds. Um, so how did I do that? I did that by reward. I said to myself, I'll be good and, and watch what I eat all week. But on Saturday, one day a week, on Saturday, I'm going to eat anything and everything that I want. And I did. When I tell you on Saturday, for breakfast, I had like two or three donuts. For lunch, I'd go to the mall after um, Alex would have his Gymboree class. They had Gymboree classes for babies, like infants even. I would go to the mall and get China, a whole plate of Chinese food. Now, if that wasn't enough, then I'd go and get a, a big ice cream. And if that wasn't enough eating all that food, when I'd come home, I'd have um, two or three slices of pizza and two or three beers, something like that. In other words, Saturday was my day. I'd go to McDonald's and get burgers and french fries. I don't care. Whatever I wanted, there was no limit. It didn't have to be nutritional. It didn't have to be low calorie. And I could eat as much as I wanted. For that one day a week, that was my reward for watching what I ate all week. And this worked, I'm telling you, for me. Might not work for you, but it worked for me because I would lose a lot of weight during the week because I'd really watch what I'd eat from like Monday all the way to Friday. Now Sunday, I would eat pretty well. Um, I might just have one little bit 
I might just eat a tiny little tad extra. But Saturday was my pig out. It was called pig out day. And and after Saturday, I'd gain like maybe three pounds. But then I'd lose that. And I, I'd always stay ahead of the game. Um, I lose the weight I gained from Saturday by Monday or Tuesday. And then I lose some more weight on top of that. I was always ahead of the game somehow. I don't I don't know. I was always ahead of the game. So I did gain weight from my Saturday splurge, but then, you know, because I was good all week. But anyway, I could have never stayed with that diet unless I had the reward I gave myself on Saturday. So that was the motivation. Of course, I liked losing weight, too. But I had to have a little more motivation than just, you know, losing the weight. I mean, yes, I was happy when I saw the numbers go down on the scale. But, I mean, I don't think I could have kept that up if I was depriving myself um, of the pig out Saturday. So, that's just one example I'm giving you. So, motivation, you know, like hard work, right? Say you want to write a book. So, you, you know, you work your ass off. Like I have. I've written many books. And because you want that reward of getting that book published. Seeing that physical book with your name, Sandra L. Wiley, as the author. Having it up on Amazon. Telling everyone you know. Having your friends buy your book. Um, having people, you know, strangers buy your book. Just, um, you know having your book out there. So the reward of that is, that's what motivates you, to have that physical book. Oh, look what I did. I have this book, you know. So I believe you need to have, because maybe some people, you know, are really strong and um, they can, you know, like do things without rewards, like, for instance, I, I do crunches uh, every day for my stomach, and I lift weights, um, and I hate doing it. I like, to, I like seeing my stomach in a bikini, though, but that's not a big enough reward. Um, at around 4 o'clock in the afternoon, I have a glass or two of wine. That's my reward for exercising. I know that, you know, when I'm doing, and I hate, I hate, hate, hate exercise, okay? But I do. I do some exercise every day, except on Sunday. But my reward is for all that, you know, crunching and weightlifting, I'm going to relax and have a couple glasses of wine. That's my reward. Now, some people don't need a reward system. But think about kids. Kudos to you if you don't. But it, this is what motivates me, having the reward. Think about a kid. How do you get um, your child to eat dinner? You can have that piece of chocolate cake, but you have to finish your vegetables. If you don't eat your vegetables, no dessert. The, the kid wants that cake bad enough that he's going to eat those vegetables. Or you can say two more pieces of vegetables. You know, do a little compromise. And then that big slice of delicious cake. So he knows that if he eats a little bit more of his vegetable, he's going to get the reward. Or even with behaviors, right? If you, you know, um, are polite and act nice over Grammy's house, then I'll let you stay up and watch whatever TV program you like or not, you know? But, and, and we use it, use it in reverse for punishment. Um, you put it, you had a tantrum, you know, in the store when I wouldn't buy you that, so you're not going to get any dessert tonight. So you take the reward away. See? Um, I never had to do this with Austin, because uh, Austin never gave me any trouble. Alex, before he got sick, he gave me a lot of trouble. I can't remember what I did with him. It was so long ago. <laughs> But often the reward system helps motivate people's beha children's behavior, people's behavior. How many people use this system, my God, um, in, in everything in their life? Um, 
they use the reward system. I'm trying to think of other, you know, um, instances or, you know, other examples of how having a reward for yourself or for someone else is good motivation. It works with children. It works with adults. Um, it works. Try it. Try it. If you're having a hard time doing something, getting motivated, you know, um, say you don't, you don't feel like getting out of bed, you don't feel like going into work, right? Give yourself a reward. You know what? After work, I'm going to pick up, um, I don't know, a piece of cheese. I'm going to go to the Cheesecake Factory and get my favorite. Oh, don't we love the Cheesecake Factory? They have every slice of cheesecake imaginable. I don't know what you like out there, but they got it <laughs> in your flavor. I'm going to stop at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm going to get my sl uh, slice of cheesecake, you know. Just something small like that, or, you know what, I've been working really hard, I'm going to save up and I'm going to go, um, and next month I'm going to take a week, a long weekend, I'm going to go to the Cape, you know, so you have something to look forward to, you know, so that will keep you going every day, you know, go through the grind, go through the grind if you're not happy on your job or whatnot, um, I'm going to save up. And I'm going to go on that vacation. So every day you go, oh, it's closer to what I want. See, that motivates you to keep going because I'm getting closer to the reward, closer to what I want. So another another two weeks and I get to go on that beach vacation in Martha's Vineyard or something, you know. Another week and I get to go. See, it motivates you. So that's what I'm trying to get across. The reward motivates you. Some people don't need that kind of motivation, but some people have it inside them, you know. Um, I'm not one of them, but, <laughs> but some people do. Some people are self-motivated. They don't need rewards. They don't need to have the glass of tour wine or the cheesecake or the vacation or whatnot have you. They can be self-motivated to do things without a reward. And I think that's that's awesome, you know. Um, just for, you know, I know if I push through this exercise, I'll feel good. I'll feel good when I look in the mirror and and I feel slim and fit. I'll feel self confident. I'll feel good about myself. Maybe that alone is a reward, you know, that they'll feel good about their bodies. They'll feel good about themselves. But for me, when I was losing the weight, I needed that pig out day. I needed that day all week when I was dieting to say, hey, Saturday's my day. I get to do it. I get to eat whatever I want to do. You know, whatever I want. It doesn't matter if it's junk. I could eat pizza, Chinese food, ice cream, beer, whatever it is, all day long. So, there you have it. Rewards to help motivate to help you motivate whatever your reward may be whether it may be food or a vacation or a new dress or um, a piece of jewelry um, rewards having something to look forward to, forward to like think about if you have a date right god I can't wait to get off of work because I'm going to meet this hot guy. We're going to a nice restaurant. So that kind of like motivates you, you know, to get through the day. You know, if you have like nothing to look forward to, then, you know, you're just coming home and, you know, throwing the TV on or something. I don't know. See what I'm saying? It's better if you have something to look forward to. Um, to motivate. So there you have it. And I hope you get motivated um, to do what you need to do.